horses have four reprimand spots on their bodies that you want to use when you're trying to apply pressure or you need to reprimand your horse if your horse is being dangerous. The shoulders, one, two spots, and the hip rump area is three, and the other side is four. Those are the four reprimand spots on a horse. You'll notice in a herd, the herd leader will often come into the shoulder and nip that shoulder to move that horse off. Well, I'm going to be using that shoulder area as a place to get Tilly to move off my pressure when I ask her to lunge. And you'll notice I'll tap, tap, tap. Tilly has never been taught the five fundamental ground techniques, so this is all new to her today. First of all, I'm going to ask her to back up to get out of my space. And if your horse isn't backing up, go back to go back to the training the whole horse DVD and review that. You need those three foundational requirements uh, set well in your horse before you move on to these five fundamental ground techniques. So I'm going to ask her to back up again. Now to lunge a horse, I like to stand in front of a horse. I want two eyes on me. I want her to be focused on me. I don't like to lunge a horse from the side. It's a vulnerable position for me. A horse can reach out and kick me. So I want her focus. I want to be in a safe place. And I want to be able to talk to her with my body. I'm going to be asking her to go to the left. So I'm going to be lifting my left hand and cocking my head left, just as a lead mare would do, or a herd leader would use their head to talk. I'm going to ask, and of course she doesn't understand, and I'm asking her to go that direction. I'm going to raise my stick, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to tap, 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 and I'm going to walk into her. She needs to take a step to the left. I'm going to bump that nose a little bit, and I'm going to tap, and as soon as she goes to the left, I'm going to shorten this a little bit and bump her nose that way. You need to go that way. As soon as she goes, then I will drop my pressure. Good girl! That was scary, but you did all right. Good job! I immediately drop my pressure. She's licking and chewing. She doesn't quite understand that, but she'll get it. I'll help her through it. Good girl! Now I'm just going to kind of rub that bumping away where I was tapping her. Rub it away. I don't know, I'm not mad at her. I'm just trying to help her understand. Good girl. Good girl. It's okay. Good job. I do not train with pain and fear. She'll get it. I need to support her through it. And I come in and I lift that stick. I'm going to bump that nose in the direction I want her to go. There, she's starting to go. Good girl! Good girl! She's just starting to get it with just, with just me showing her. Very good! Very good. I didn't even have to tap her shoulder, and she started moving off. Very good. I want to get to the point where I can just lift that lead rope and point with her. Good, and I'm going to rub that away. Good girl. This is gentleness and patience. See, she's already looking that direction. What do I need to do? I want her to follow that lead rope. Good girl. I'm going to kind of ask her to go forward a little bit, so the stick behind her bottom just a little bit. She's never done this. Good girl. As soon as she started to move, you notice I dropped that stick. I told her she was a good girl. Very good. Okay. Just tap. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Now she's starting to get it. Isn't that great? Look at that. You notice my body language. Very light on the pressure. Just asking and helping her to get it. Good job. So she understands. Oh, I see. When I go this way, then you stop tapping on me. This is the first time she's ever lunged in her life. Good girl. And she's doing a great job at it. Good girl. Didn't even have to touch, just point. Very 
good. I'm very proud of you. Very proud of you. Good job. Very good. Now see that? All I had to do was just lift that rope and guide her in the direction I wanted her to go.